Let's dream. In the center of the vast universe, a remarkably bright star was born. It was a star that is born only once in a thousand years, the Millennium Star. According to legend, whoever possessed this mystical star was destined to become the superstar of the universe. However, since the Millennium Star was but a newborn, it fell from the starry sky. Around that time, Mario and his friends were all happily relaxing. When... Suddenly, the Millennium Star came crashing down. Mario and his friends soon began arguing over who should keep the Millennium Star. Seeing this, Lakitu came flying in, dangling a toy box from his rod. That's right! They could play Mario Party to see who the biggest superstar was! Suddenly, the Millennium Star gave off a brilliantly bright flash of light. And with that bright flash, Mario and his friends were transported inside the toy box. Greetings, I am the Millennium Star. You must pass my test to prove yourself worthy of possessing me. Follow me! Let's play... Mario Party 3! Good morning everybody, it's Midnight and Beyond! Welcome to my Let's Play of Mario Party 3 for the Nintendo 64! Oh my god, this is a very special Let's Play for a lot of different reasons. Not only is this the last Mario Party game on the N64, but this might actually be my last Nintendo 64 Let's Play. So let's make it one that we'll all remember! Let's get things started! Alright, now right off the bat I have a story for you. This cartridge was actually one that I bought from Best Buy a few years ago. It's actually the last Mario Party game I ever bought and played, really. Mario Party 3 is definitely the one of the original 8 that I have the least amount of experience with. I just didn't have it growing up, and I got this cartridge just because I wanted to have it. But when I got the cartridge, it was already a 100% complete file, so I had no real reason to want to play through it and get everything unlocked. But not only that, as you could see, the file's name is Jeff, which is my name, so it was just really convenient how that all worked out. But yeah, I wanted to actually finally play this game, so we're gonna go ahead and have an LP of it, as you could plainly see. I was thinking of how I could make this Let's Play more special than Mario Party 2. With Mario Party 1, we had like a fun time with just like a lot of rage and just a lot of weird antics and stuff like that by just going solo. And in Mario Party 2, it was interesting because I had a co-con for every single board. Well, I've decided to up the ante once again, and this time we're going to have two co-coms in every board because I like making things difficult for me in editing, and because it'll be three co-coms or three commentators in total, so it's like Mario Party 3. Yeah, it's gonna get real crazy when Mario Party 10 rolls around. Ugh. All right, so because of that, I'm going to be uh, collecting some good people who who are scattered throughout the internet and who work good in pairs. I'm trying to like find people who are good duos on their own or just people that I haven't had the chance to talk with before. And I hope you guys enjoy who I have picked out for this Let's Play. But there's another thing that we need to discuss. This is the first Mario Party game to include a story mode. So because of that, I am not allowed to lose any of the boards. I actually have to win them. And so unfortunately, you do already know the outcome that I'm going to win every single board. And I apologize for that, that sort of makes it boring. But that's also the reason why I decided to have two co-coms, just to make it even more interesting in that regard. So hopefully the commentary will sometimes relate to whatever is happening in the game, but maybe it'll just be complete nonsense that has nothing to do with the game whatsoever. So with all that being said, let's get things started by heading into story mode. Alright, game setup will take place before the story mode begins. 
All right, who are we going to be playing as in this Let's Play? As you know, I like to have a certain main character for every single Mario Party that I play. In Mario Party 1, we use Donkey Kong, of course, and in Mario Party 2, we use Luigi. So, who are we going to be using for this game? Well, as usual, I don't really like to use Mario since he's in all the main games, and Peach is the bane of everyone's existence, so I don't like using her. And in this game, they actually got rid of Wario's original voice actor, so he doesn't say, do I missed anymore. So if that's the case, there's only one choice left, and that is Yoshi. Alright then, now like I said, I have to win all the boards in order to progress, and because I don't have a lot of experience with Mario Party 3, I don't have a lot of confidence in myself to win against normal computers, as sad as that sounds, so we're gonna go with easy difficulty. Again, we know that I have to win regardless, so... Uh, I hope you guys are okay with that, just having easy computers, because you know how it's all gonna end up either way, and I just like to have it easy on me. But something else that I need to uh, confess real quick is that this Let's Play is going to be uh, post-commentated because uh, even though it's on easy computer, I still wound up losing on some of the boards several times. Whenever that happens, I'm just going to have like a cutaway. So you get to still see the failures, but I'll just have like a hashtag reset thing come up whenever I have to reset for that particular reason. So I hope you're okay with that. I hope you... Um, enjoy the failures when they show up, but we still get to get progress done in a quick and timely manner. So I hope that you all enjoy whatever I end up putting together. It's going to be a very ambitious project getting all the different COCOM audio all fixed up properly and all that jazz, but let's see if we can have a good time with it. Without further ado, let's finally start story mode. And we start things off by repeating the intro we saw at the beginning of the game, but this time we're not able to scroll through text automatically. We have to press the A button in order to, prog to progress because the Triforce of power or wisdom or something is blocking the way for us. Oh, but it's something different. You must adventure across many lands to collect the star stamps. Yes, very amazing. We have star stamps. If you can collect all seven, I shall accept you as the top superstar in the universe. First, you must set forth to get the Witch Star Stamp. I heard that. I've got to go tell the Great Bowser. Well, if you're ready, let's go to Chili Waters. All right, so we have like a blue star telling you to go to like the party board. The yellow red star will be shown off later. And if you're wondering what the Mount Rushmore thing going on in the background is, it is relating to uh, the fact that if you beat story mode with a certain character, then you get them on a Mount Rushmore thing. So I guess I haven't completely finished this game. Maybe I'll come back one day to finish the mountain, but that is not what we're doing today. Instead, we are going to Chilly Waters. And who the heck is this guy? Welcome, Yoshi! Battle Royale Round 1 is for the Wit Star Stamp. You'll play on this map in this round. Chilly Waters, Frosty Snowmen, and Perky Penguins. Now, let's meet the challengers! And finally, let's see which co-commentators will be joining us for this board. Today we have Yoshi Gamer Girl and Lightning Cloud 224. In story mode, the number of turns is set to 15 turns. The bonus option is on and the handicapped option is off. You've chosen to use all the mini games. That's all there is to explain. Good luck everyone! Are you ready? Lasso! Ready for the battle royale? Then let's go! Chili Waters, the best name for a board ever, with the best Cocoms ever! Overly annoying intro, I've been waiting for you, Yoshi. Welcome to the legendary Chili Waters. In this snowy, freezing land, you'll battle to become the superstar. And just as promised, if you win here, you'll get yourselves a brand new car. Oh, no, you'll get the wit star stamp. 
Before we begin, we have to determine the turn order. Okay, let's see what we got. I'm going last because it's Midnight and Beyond, of course. Hooray. And Luigi's going first. Nyeh. If only it's Mario Party 2, then I'd be Luigi and I'd be playing first. But nah. I'm Yoshi, so I have to be last. But at least I have Yoshi Gamer Girl with me. Yes, oh, hello. Oh, hi. <laughs> and Lightning Cloud 224. Yay. Hi, guys. Hi. Yeah, because uh, having uh, one CoCom in Mario Party 2 just wasn't enough. So for that reason, I decided to make things even more challenging in editing and have two CoComs. Now it's Mario Party 3. There are three people talking. Get it? It's creative, sort of. Woo! Yeah, <laughs> that is pretty cool. Why do you? It's have pretty to... cool because we're in chilly waters. Okay, yeah. Uh... Another thing is that I'm not good at commentary. That's another reason why I brought on a bunch of people who are better than me in every way. Uh... So now that we're finally done with introducing the board and stuff, typical Mario Party fair. How about we learn more about you two and who you are and what you provide for this world with your existence? All right. All right. Well, I'm Yoshi Gamer Girl. Um. So. I provide, well, right now it's sort of a lull of Spyro videos and other just already finished LPs. Uh, I'm mostly good at platformers, and you don't even get one coin today but because you landed on it. It's like, nope. Yeah, of course the one time I money. land on the bank, it's on the first turn, so no one gives me any money. Uh, yeah. Anyway, um... Right now, I'm kind of in a lull of videos because jobs are hard, okay? <laughs> Gotta work for the uh, man. I, I can say jobs are really hard. Yeah. I don't think I've done a video in a long time. Oh, so much. It's been over 3,000 years. Indeed. Maybe not that long. But we're here now making videos. And yes. hopefully it'll go over well. We're using yeah. the new superpower of Discord. All the new fancy kids are using it nowadays. So hopefully it'll go better than all the Skype co-coms from back in the day. You mean those, like, crackly thingies or whatever that was just... All the technical difficulties. Or, or, or I could just say the, it, the Discord is much less chaotic. Uh. <laughs> oh, oh, I get it, because Discord... Her, her. <laughs> All right, so I think oh, dear. Uh, first time... Uh, the reason I'm doing so bad right off the bat is because I thought I was Luigi for the first few seconds of this. Because I was used to playing as him in Mario Party 2. And yeah, the only reason I uh, have you two on for the first co is because I'm playing as Yoshi. So I want to I know, I'm you. so happy. <laughs> so happy that I have Yoshi. Awful. And somehow I won that. Well, it depends on how easy you put the computers on. Somehow you, you won that with, with having the first part. Be yeah, here's the thing. Um, this is the first Mario Party game to include a story mode, which is what we're playing. And because yeah. of that, I outright need to win in order to progress. So it's not like the first yeah. two games where I could just mess up and just roll with it and just have a good time nonetheless. I kind of have to win, so it's kind of lame that we already know how the board's going to end up. I'm going to end up winning, I hope. Uh, but real quick, I want to go ahead and turn uh, tech speed over to fast because we don't got time for this. And we also want to make these characters run faster because they walk very slow in this game. Oh, yeah, and I know. I think that's about it. And yeah, that's another thing. This is being uh, post-commentated because, unfortunately, even though these characters are on easy computers, I was not exactly able to win on the first try every single time. Uh-huh. So, yeah. let's just say there may be some cutaways of some sort in certain parts of the video. Like, maybe yeah. I reset, maybe I redo the entire board altogether, but uh, we'll see what happens. Yeah, um, I, I found them way back in the day. I actually had this on a N64 console, like the actual physical cartridge. I did not like the computers, even yeah. on easy. I'm just like, how do you, how cheaply do you just win? And I have to go do it all over again. How? Yeah, like, it also doesn't help that, like, Mario Party 3 is the one that I have the least amount of experience with, because the only time really? I've ever played it before this LP was in a hotel, like, the, you know, sometimes mm. they have consoles in a hotel that you could rent out for an hour or something like that? Uh-huh, yeah. Oh, and my Mario, Kart, Mario Party experience is, like, almost done. Yeah, he's played a few times with, like, 
on the Wii and Wii U and mostly when we actually have friends over, like when Don decides to raid our house. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I had friends to raid my house and play Mario Party with me. You kind of like live far away. He lives an hour and a half away from us. I'm on the other side of the country now in yeah. California partying up because West Coast, Best Coast. So I've heard. That our friend, our friend, our um friend we play trading card game with is right now on the west coast because he's. What, he's, what? At, he's, he's at school. Yeah, he's at school. Maybe I go play card games with him because California is obviously like such a small state. It'll be easy to meet up with him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so lame. Like every time I find out someone lives in California, I try to look. I look up where they are and see if like we could hang out or something like that. And then it just turns out like they're five hours away. I'm like, well, this is California. Uh, unless you want to hang out with my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll party with the grandma. We can have a fun time. All right. Uh, I think I think past me's trying to show off all the item descriptions, but we're totally ignoring that. <laughs> and she, uh, she lost her headphone for a second. Yeah. You left so us. Yeah. Are you really just reading what everything does? I think the plan was Future Me was supposed to read every single one of them and be informative and try to make this a decent, informative, intelligent let's play, but we were talking about grandmas and card games, so we completely <laughs> yeah. overran it. Yeah. But long um, story short, just... there are a lot of items in this game, a lot more than Mario Party 2, and you could hold three at a time, Magic which is a new is OP. feature. Magic Lamp is very OP. Magic lamp. I never got a single lamp in the entire Mario Party 2 LP, you which didn't? is annoying. Oh. Well, I'm just saying that if you get that, you're always good. That Koopa card is really good. It's really rare, but... It's really rare. Yeah, all these are rare items. All these ones right here. You can only the get Koopa them cards, through special yeah. means, like uh, yeah. hidden blocks, or you can get them in item bags, I believe. Correct. Mario Party 3 is a really weird game. It has a lot of weird items, like uh, oh, this yeah, the Lucky, the lucky Charm. charm. Unfortunately, it's not cereal. It is a thing that's no. a game guy, which is a really cool thing in this game. Yeah, I, 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 I do remember that. So, Ben, what do you think of the graphics of old and the old, like, um, sounds of... Old. You know, <laughs> of old. Your old... Retro trippin'. Old... Driven. That That's wacky watch can be helpful if you just don't want to do all 15 turns. Yeah, it's, oh, have to be um, it's really interesting. Like, it's really... Like, Mario Party 3 just has a lot of weird items that, like, make the game, like, completely one side. Just, like, I love how much rule-breaking there is compared to, like, all the other games. Like, Correct. they haven't really set down a structure yet for what they want Mario Party to be. And this is, like, the sort of the last game that does that, this last N64 Mario Party game, and yeah. it's really interesting, just all yeah. the weird stuff. I kind of wish it did continue over into the future games. Yeah. All right, so after all that, I'm just not even going to buy a single item, so thank you, past me, for wasting everybody's time. All right. Woo! Hidden block! But it's not special. Woo! Just a skeleton key? key. It's an angry key. I like how angry it is. Also, I like how we found a key inside of a treasure chest. We use a key to open the chest. <laughs> That's very true. Reverse uh, psychology, okay. or I don't know if that's reverse psychology, but whatever. Messy memory. Oh, oh my god. I used to beat everyone I played in this, and they're like, how do you do it? I'm like, um, picture memory. You have a very clean memory. Uh, yeah. Because, um, I consistently have to remember mostly pictures, and at work, you see, I work, uh, as cashier slash booth person at a grocery store so I see where everything is and then memorize the layout oh I thought when you said you have to memorize pictures at a grocery store I thought like you were cashier and then you press a picture of the food that people buy and then tells you how much it costs you, you can do that too yes <laughs> if only it worked like that if that's why it, I can't yeah um no seriously though you can um what is it called what you do is that um, there are certain things like fruit and vegetables that they buy by the pound. So literally you just click on lookups and then there's a picture of fruits and vegetables. And um, then you click on which you know fruit or vegetable you want. It's an alphabetical order and then it shows all the pictures of each one of them. 
I like how only That's two of them convenient. <laughs> convenient. In the convenience store. Well, you got the hat and the egg mixed up. I haven't recorded in a long time. I'm not good at this commentary <laughs> thing anymore. Lazo one. Lazo. I like how it goes beep pew. Yeah, this is the last Mario Party game that has Yoshi's classic voice. I know, I, I liked it a lot. They like also got that. rid of Wario's dough I missed, though, in this game, I which know. I do not approve of. I know. I remember. Um, you see, I owned... Well, I didn't own, like, Mario Party 1 until, like, way later, but um, I rented the heck out of it. And um, my brother and I had owned... My brother and I, when we were, you know, growing up and such, we owned, what is it, two through, okay, the GameCube days, I want to say seven, because eight was on the Wii. Uh, yes. Yeah, that sounds right. So, yeah. Ben, it was originally mm -hmm. going to be a GameCube game, but then they were like, like let's get on this Wii business. It's <laughs> fun. No, I, I got all the GameCube stuff because I had a brother. When you have siblings, you... You tend I didn't to... get a GameCube. Not until later, right? Not later. College. I have siblings, but they don't care about video games, so I had to get everything myself. Oh. oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. First world problems. I don't have siblings to get me video games. Oh, so both of you are only children. Mm -hmm. I mean, only children. <laughs> y y you get... Trust me, there's a benefit to having a brother or a sister. Younger or older. Brother, my brother. <laughs> well, Pokemon movie. Honestly, it gives you an excuse to play more games together and learn about cooperation and sharing and such. I don't know what any of that is. All I remember is getting Mario Party 5 for Christmas one day and playing it for 11 hours straight by myself because no one would play with me. Uh. My brother also, always played with me. Also because I really love Mario Party 5. <laughs> uh, it was actually the about Mario Party 5 when my brother started saying, I got a PS2, so I'm just going to play this all day. Ugh. PS2 well, is played, more like it. He, he played Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, though. <laughs> well, in that case. Now, my uh, family were was the... Kind that didn't believe in owning more than one video game console, so really? I wasn't allowed to get a PS2. You missed! You got the one thing on there that I think that makes you lose. Yep. Yeah. I'm not good at those item games, as we will see many, many more times in the future. Uh. Okay. Curtain call! Daniel plan! Okay, also, can we so. Talk about this dude? Uh, Tumble, the host of Mario Party 3. What oh, do you think yeah, is he? this well, guy. He's a, he's <laughs> a dice a man, head. but why? Die head, yeah. A die head. That's what Ben he's said. He's a dice man. Alright, yes, this, I remember happy. this minigame confused me so much because it, like, asks you, um, it's like another memory game. It tells you, like, which person came out from the left first or whatever. But it's or from the, right. the character's left, not yours, like, from the viewpoint. So, I think I'm getting it right, but in reality, I have to, like, reverse the mirror image or whatever to have it work. And it's really annoying. So, here I go and had failed. It's like, what? It wasn't Koopa. No, it's your left. That's your left, yes. That's confusing. Wait, did he ask left or right? Left. From, from your left. From uh, your left. From did it, it specifically say bleh, it specifically said your left? Yeah, read it. But he like I don't I thought Look, I meant read like it. person from, from left. the left. The left is your left. I thought Second I meant person from I thought it meant like the left. person that came out from the left side first, which was Boo. No, no 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 <laughs> so confusing. No. It's not who comes out first, it's all the people on the stage. Who's the, you know, whatever from what, so like it's, you know, you see how it's uh, Goomba, Koopa, Boo, Goomba, Koopa, Boo again, and now he's asking, who was the fourth person from the right? The fourth person from the right was Koopa. No, sorry, so it's confused. Goomba. Excuse me, it's Goomba. It's Goomba. Also, I like how, I like how I, like how I just dance it in was failure. Goomba. It was Goomba. 
See, from the so no coins writer from most place, it's Goomba. I don't yeah. understand. And the worst part is I, I can't even take this advice because it's already recorded. <laughs> I know. So we just have to accept my failures. It's okay. At least I'll be having the last laugh when I win in the future. It's no laughing matter. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Good luck. Oh. Wait. Oh, right. I just remembered that um, the last time I recorded was May. So if you think you're May. in a funk or whatever, I the last time I recorded was in May, and I have them edited, but I just haven't put them up, I don't think. That sounds pathetic. I get to it, because I need more Spyro in my life. Yeah, I mean, at least I have the first two um, games done. I also need more Super Princess Period Peach in my life. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you know, what I really need is a capture card for that. I found out that, I know this is illegal, but ROM, the ROM and doing one of the mini games is super duper hard on the computer and really easy to do if you can actually touch the screen. Uh huh. Seriously, that touch screen physics is just terrible. I could imagine. Yeah, on the computer. You need a really good mouth. Yes, it's hard. Ooh, did I get the corns? I got the corns! I'm you so got proud the of corns. past me. They're a special bonus. Corns aren't actually that yellow. Corns? Yeah. Corns, corns. are yellow. <laughs> some reason I thought you said corns instead of corns. I did say corns. Corns are yellow. Oh, okay. That's what I figured. But they're not that yellow. They're that yellow. <laughs> also, I don't like how in this game you can't have your characters like dance around on the instruction screen anymore. My birthday's yeah, giving me all I the know. cool stuff. We got this weird dice dude. We got stinking just images to look at. What is this madness? But I like I how they turned us into fish, though. Yeah. <laughs> you just have how a really creepy, you... grabby hand fishing pole. Yeah, I know. The weird thing is how slow you just swim. It's like... Oh, by the way, I don't know how good you were at games that involve button smashing, but it looks like you're okay. I I'm, I was a good button masher back in my day. Me too. I still am. Ben honestly can't figure out how I do it. First you press A, then you press A, then press A, 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 Something like that. You're very, you're very evasive. Evasive? Oh, but you got caught. How dare oh, you. How dare. Passed me. I, count, I trusted you. And the monkey got ya. Mmm. My brother was always DK. No, first he was always Wario, and then he always played as DK afterwards, because he, he, we called him a crazy monkey, so, okay. <laughs>